Bringing up Bates star Kelly Jo Bates has been making extra efforts to stay in touch with her children, especially the married ones. Most of the time, the 57-year-old pays them a visit and celebrates the huge milestones of her grandkids. However, Jill's wife made many of her followers worry after suffering from a scary injury. Keep reading to see what happened. One of Kelly Joe's latest appearances was when she welcomed her 29th grandchild, Weston Slade Smith. The Bringing Up Bates star made sure that she's still keeping the tradition of waiting for her grandkids at the hospital. Kelly Joe has also celebrated birthdays and other milestones for her kids and in laws. Earlier this month, Kelly gushes over Warden, Kelton, and Travis for becoming champions in their Longshots Flag Football League. However, the mother of 19 scared many of her followers after suffering from an injury. In an IG Stories post, Michaela Bates shared a worrying photo of her mother, Kelly Jo. According to the Bringing Up Bates star, her mom suffered from an injury while playing pickleball. Fortunately, nothing serious happened to Kelly Jo Bates, and she's now recovering. Kelly recently appeared in some of her kids' IG stories playing pickleball. She even went barefoot while playing with Carlin, and some fans think that was where she got the injury. Lawson Bates also uploaded a vlog featuring Kelly Joe's activities with her children, including their pickleball game. The Bringing Up Bates star also shared glimpses of their first interaction with Tori's fifth baby. Many are also glad that Tiffany's pregnancy has been healthy following her miscarriage last year. It will also be a busy year for Gil and Kelly Jo Bates as they prepare to welcome three grandkids from Tiffany, Esther, and Katie. William is so big, and he looks just like Carson. I loved meeting Weston. I love getting to see all the Bates. Ty Lawson for sharing with us. Baby William is definitely a mini Chad. Every one of Tori and Bobby's children looks just like Bobby. Beautiful family. I'm so excited for the arrival of the next baby Bates. I still say he's coming on my day 7 to 31. Mama Bates is the best. If you are looking for more bringing up Bates news, Kelly Jo Bates, the matriarch of the large and beloved Bates family, was known for her resilience and cheerful spirit. Living in the bustling household of the Bringing Up Bates reality TV show, Kelly Jo managed to juggle the myriad responsibilities of raising 19 children alongside her husband, Gil. Her life, though hectic, was filled with love, laughter, and the occasional chaos that comes with such a large family. One crisp autumn morning, the Bates family home was alive with activity. The younger children were preparing for their homeschooling lessons, while the older ones helped with chores or worked on personal projects. Kelly Jo, as always, was at the heart of it all, moving between the kitchen, the laundry room, and the living room with the grace of someone who had perfected the art of multitasking. Mom, where are the markers? called out Judson, one of the younger Bates children, from the dining room where they had set up their schoolwork. In the drawer by the refrigerator, honey, Kelly Jo responded, pausing to make sure everyone had what they needed. She had just finished preparing a large pot of soup for lunch and was on her way to check on the laundry when disaster struck. As Kelly Jo stepped into the laundry room, her foot caught on a small, unseen toy left by one of the toddlers. She lost her balance, and in an attempt to steady herself, she grabbed onto a nearby shelf. But the shelf, already overloaded with laundry supplies, gave way under her weight. Kelly Jo fell hard landing awkwardly on her arm and hitting her head against the tiled floor. The sound of the crash reverberated through the house, bringing everyone to a halt. Gil, who was outside working on some yard tasks, rushed inside, his heart pounding. The children, wide-eyed and scared, gathered around the laundry room door, unsure of what to do. Kelly, are you okay? Gil's voice was thick with worry as he knelt beside his wife. Kelly Jo was conscious but clearly in pain. Her arm was twisted at an unnatural angle, and she had a small but nasty cut on her forehead. Call 911, Kelly Jo managed to say through gritted teeth, trying to stay calm for the sake of her children, who were now watching with tear-filled eyes. Within minutes, 
paramedics arrived and carefully assessed Kelly Joe's injuries. She was taken to the hospital where doctors confirmed she had a broken arm and a mild concussion. The news spread quickly through the family, and soon their older children, many of whom lived nearby, arrived at the hospital to offer their support.